Hello everyone and welcome to Battlefy Week 12. We're coming in, we have a round 2 of a match. If you haven't seen round 1, go back and watch it because with me was Super Bad Juju casting and he's going to be casting this game with me as well. As right now we are actually going out of monster kills starting off as uh, we had Lonzi getting a follow right at the start of the videos. We're <laughs> looking for a quick clean start. Uh oh, that didn't happen. Too bad now, but the match has already started with me. Super Bad Juju, quick wave going into the game. Quick salute. Hello to everyone. But yes, <laughs> we're going into the game, and we do have ourselves a two-balanced monster who wasn't balanced last game with the way he was playing. Went through devastating mm -hmm. after he got to stage three. Up until that point, it was a little bit rough, a little bit rocky, but once he got there, he was on point. Uh, build for stage one is going to be a one lightning, one banshee, one vortex, which is what we saw last game. And the hunters are coming in. They're dropping in right now. So what do you think about this game on Distillery and how it's going to go? Uh, I think that Kraken actually has a little bit of a, a tougher time on Distillery compared to some of the other monsters, uh, just because there's a lot of open spaces where the Kraken doesn't have that cover, that, that pillar cover that, you know, they, they really like to abuse, and the Hunters end up with a lot of things they can loop around. Uh, that said, Two Balanced is a force to be reckoned with. You saw them last game. They were using their combos perfectly, you know, following up the Vortex with the Lightning Strike, Banshee into Lightning Strike, just getting all those rapid combos on, and that is what differentiates a pro monster from a pub or a casual monster, the ability to abuse those combos and know, you know, when to use them. You, sometimes you see, you know, pub monsters, they just use an ability whenever it's off cooldown. You watch Two Balanced. They save them. They combo them. Yeah, and it's going to be uh, just quick to see what happened as Daisy's coming in with the flames. Just... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, a little toasty. Man. He's, like he's going to go out to sea there and cool off a bit after that. That's some cooked sushi at this point. He's trying to go to the ocean. And he's like, please, someone cool me off. It's too hot in here. <laughs> Take off all your clothes. He's playing I'm risky going, going right out of fun. bounds there, huh? Yeah, he's riding that coattail just trying to get it up. And he's going forward, just trying to get everything in. We're going to see that poison is going to be ticking away at that armor. He's going to be looking to see what he can get long distance. Trying to get some smell so we can see if he can pick anyone off. Not quite able to, though. He wants to keep himself aware of where Noodle's positioning is. Because that's going to be key. More poison darts going to be ticking away. See, this armor is slowly going down. He's building it up and slowly getting it lower and lower and lower. As he's just trying to get everything going. And it's just going to be Banshee Mine popping in on the Mammoth Bird. Because no one likes Mammoth Birds nowadays. No like, way. Like, Look at the speed of their team, though. Look how well they kept up with him. They chased him across the whole map. The whole team kept up. Good jetpack management, good boosting on Sunny, and uh, he just was not able to outrun him. Like, truth, truthfully, right now, I don't think you can outrun hunters unless you force them to go uphill and burn jetpack. Especially when they're good running moves. moose speed on not only one, but two of them as well. Like, the Trapper and the Medic are both running moose speed. Since we are on first dome, I can discuss this. Jetpack recharge on Mizzix as well. Cliff is running quick switch for high, which is good for getting out multiple sources of damage. And I think that was one of the things that you first discussed on your stream before I even thought of it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, look at this. Look at this Daisy. It's, you know, some, every time I play, I play Mad Mags here. I feel like Daisy's very conservative on her flamethrower. She seems to be going ham right now. Oh, oh no, man. that or oh. Oh. oh! What have you done? What have you done, Mizzix? Mizzix, you monster, just mining, mining Krakens from space. As we see, Clip is going in, getting that damage out. They're going through two and a half bars of health. Dome's now coming off. That was the first one. They went through half his health. And that's going to be a quick swing in favor of the Hunters. He's just going to try and get his space at this point. He gets blocked by a tree as he goes to Jetpack, which is not good, not helpful. And have to see what's going on as we see more of these harpoons are just unreal Ooh. from noodles just slowing them right down we're gonna see another one coming in as he doesn't connect doesn't quite as he breaks line of sight as he go through oh man that's three and a half now yeah that's brutal like i was saying when you have a sunny and a mad mags or not sunny yeah yeah a, a mad mags anyway who's quick um, Sunny makes it better, but I mean, they're, they're running move speed here. You're able to use those harpoons almost like Griffin. Yeah. And it's just unreal. Like that range on the harpoons, you just throw it forward at max range. You can typically slow it right down. And it looks like they're going to go through the cave here. They're almost ready to evolve. Uh, you know, and if I were them, I would go for the evolve in the cave and then aftershock spec into that and just do my best to nuke this team. It's really your only hope at this point. Just pull them into the caves and just abuse it as much as you can. Daisy right now just looking at this monster. Ready, oh. and here comes the flame. 
And getting with the Harpoon, slowing him right in. We have a two-point Banshee Mine, two-point Aftershock, one Lightning, one Vortex. Same build we saw last time, which helped him out stage one and, uh, sorry, stage two and stage three, because he was able to get a good quick strike. And he's just going to try and see what he can get. We see ourselves. We do have Noodles on the exterior, looking to see what he can get. Pings are coming out right now. Noodles is trying to get into position, getting closed in. He's at 30 meters, does actually get the dome and two bounces captured in this, which means he's going to try and get some quick meets to try and stop him. But no, Captain Insano and Noodles are on point, making sure he's not able to get any snacks. And we see all oh, the shield. The shield's already on him. Mizzix knows that he oh, wants out. Man. Here comes the Vortex. Banshee. Yeah, this dome's going to be tough, man. But look at that. There's no loops. They have that to mitigate in the middle, those pillars. He's going right in. He knows he has to get Mizzix before he can get Noodles. And that's just what happens when you're Mizzix. You're going to get rocked around. But here we go. Rogueval going in for the heels. Harpoon's going to be slowing him down. He's going to try and break it down because it does deal damage over time. He's going to go in. Here comes the Lightning. Goes in for Mizzix. Doesn't quite connect. This Cliff is on the high ground. Going to be trying to get some damage. Shield's being used. Getting himself really low. But getting that need to get some heals up from Insano. It's... Right now, the healing attention is being dropped down, and Daisy doing a great job melting through all that health. Here we go. Thunderdome going to get thunderstruck by the Aftershock. Here comes the Orbital for the finish, though. Doesn't get it, though, because he doesn't bait for it. Here comes the Lightning. Going to be doing a juggle Thunderdome Mizzix, but he's going to be unable to get hit by that because he dodged it by the last second thanks to that Orbital, but he only has one bar of health. Going to be able to get those flame damage coming out of Cliff. Is he going to be able to close it in? He needs to clinch up and get a quick bar of armor. Noodles is on the trait. Going to be getting the hunt down. Noodles is right on his tail, trying to see what he can get. Noodles needs to clean in the corner. Is he going to be able to get the last couple shots? Pistols coming in, reloading, reloading the SMG. Harpoon being used. Doesn't quite get it because he holds up. Going to be here comes the reload. Going to be seeing where that pistol burn damage is going to be coming in. Mizzix is going in for it, but it's just inside range and down goes two balanced as it goes into the 1 1 tied. Just like you were saying, man, earlier you're saying you've seen these two teams go against each other and they adapt and they, uh, you know, to kind of bounce back and forth. And that's exactly okay. what happened here. You know, two balanced trashed them the first game, they got their shit together. You know, had a bit better map right here for, for them, in my opinion. Uh, and they managed to, to really shut them down there. Yeah, and it's just going forward. We're just seeing that the power of this composition that they've been running. They've been doing a great job practicing with it. And that was exactly the game plan, as we saw right there. They were able to mitigate and do the majority of armor damage and remove it. Stage 1, before the dome even started. Able to catch him on the exterior of the map. And then as soon as he came in to cut towards the north side, they caught him in the dome because he burned through as much armor as they could. And then it was, the fight was all theirs at that point. They threw, in my opinion, a perfect dome there, too. They had that pillar in the middle to run around. They had no loops for the Kraken. They had ledges from which to, to perch on. It was really an ideal dome. So we're going into the next match. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Quick fading fade out for the sake of editing. We're going to try and sneak our way into the other side as we're going to be waiting on that match. So stay tuned, guys. Quick fading fade out. We'll be back in a sec with more games coming at you in just a sec.